In the players category for this year's Hall of Fame, Field Hockey Canada honors a goaltender who excelled at her craft. I, I think I never would have uh, would have expected it. Um, I played field hockey just because I loved it, right? And to be nominated uh, by um, you know friends and, and teammates is uh, is very rewarding. A uh, long career, and uh, I had a great time. And um, this is sort of the pinnacle of everything. Forbes was born in Victoria, BC, but was raised in Fredericton, New Brunswick. She played a variety of sports growing up, but didn't play field hockey until she was in grade ten. In basketball season in, in junior high, I, I tore my ACL and I was like, uh oh, like now what am I gonna do? And um, my coach had talked to the high school coach and said, well, I have a really good athlete, right? And maybe you can convince her to try goal. And so I thought, okay, like I'll try it. How hard can it be to, you know, stop shots? I played street hockey with my friends and, and stuff like that. And I'd go on goal every once in a while. and. Um, I kind of thrived on it, like the harder they shot it, the more I tried to stop it. It was like, a, to me, it was a fun game, right? So I was hooked. Forbes was a natural in net from the beginning. Just nine months into being a goalie, she would help lead the New Brunswick Provincial team to a gold medal at the Canada Games in 1989. Forbes caught the attention of the University of New Brunswick's field hockey team and began training with them. So I sort of saw how hard they were practicing, you know, all their extra time they put in. And I started to do that thinking, um, and I, like, you know, I could go somewhere and I'd see them like with their little Team Canada bag or their shirt. And I was like, ooh, I'd really like one of those one day. Uh, right. One day, and so, one day. yeah, so that was sort of the motivator was, you know, I wanted to wear that maple leaf. In order to get closer to that goal, Forbes decided to attend York University, whose goalie coach Kathy Broderick also coached for the national team. However, a big setback came her way as Forbes tore her ACL just before the season began. It definitely took a toll, uh, like, but it, there was so many, um, like I had so many good teammates around me and the, and the therapists and the trainer, like they're all great. So um, they knew my goals and that was to get back and play. Right. So they would the days I didn't want to do therapy, they were yelling at me in the gym to, you know, lift more and, and spin longer and stuff. Forbes resilience shined as she helped the team win an OUA championship in 1991 and also began playing for the national team where she participated in a junior World Cup qualifier in Venezuela. I wasn't going to let the like I was going to do what I could um, to push myself to see if I could kind of get to that next level right so i mean the acl yeah it was a setback but with everyone around you going it's just a setback like not the end of the world kind of thing so um i think that was really positive for me to reframe my mind and then it was um the next year we had some success right forbes would build on to that momentum for the rest of her time at university including winning three provincial championships becoming a three-time ciau all-star and winning Female Athlete of the Year during her final season in 1998. When you look back at your university career, um, it was it was really special, right? Because you were with so many people for so long and, and started to be nominated and, and win Athlete of the Year was, was really special too, right? I was um, like, I'm really proud of the career I had at York and sort of proud of the legacy that we, we put down there. After graduating in 1998, Forbes had her sights set in walking away with some hardware at the 1999 Pan American Games in Winnipeg. We were pumped because it was at home, right? So it was in Winnipeg. Uh, um, we felt really good about uh, our chances to medal. Um, ultimately, we did win the bronze medal. Uh, and um, it was so, it was incredible because everyone's family, friends were there, right? In the following years, Forbes participated in a variety of international tournaments. This included the World Cup, Commonwealth Games, Americans Cup, and Pan Am's Cup. She decided to step away from the game after the 2008 Olympic qualifiers in Victoria. I knew that was my last tournament. Like if we weren't qualifying for the Olympics, it was, um, it was, it was time to retire. And we played well, we had a good showing. I, I was happy with the way I, my performance went. Um, you know, I was surprised I was named goalie of the tournament at the end of the tournament. Uh, but it was uh, certainly a nice way to kind of cap off, I guess it was 17 or 18 years within the national program. So um, it was uh, something you never forget, right? When looking back on her career, Forbes would like to be remembered for her work ethic and for who she was off the field. 
you look back and, and you just hope that, you know, when people think of you, they think of, yeah, she was a good player and but better person, right? At the end of the day and and was, uh, you know, a fun to be around and was um, enjoyable to, you know, to other coach or play with or officiate and, you know, um, respected the game and, and uh, what it gave. Like I respect the game certainly and what it gave to me uh, and the opportunities because you'd never get that um, at any other time, I don't think. My name's Sarah Forbes and I am an inductee into the Field Hockey Canada Hall of Fame.